Welcome to In The News, where we discuss some of the top CBD and cannabis news we've come across over the last week. This week, we take a look at Pepsi's new energy drink infused with hemp seed oil, the state of the UK novel foods application process, and why its slow rollout could hurt the CBD industry in the long run. And we take a look at the first stock market debut for a CBD company in Germany. So, starting in the UK, according to businesscan.com, just three months after the initial Food Standards Agency submission deadline had passed, the latest figures for the UK FSA show an increasing number of applications failing to make it through the first stage of the CBD novel foods process. 803 applications had been received so far, with 250 of these passing through the administration or validation phases by the end of May with no new additions to the public list in almost two months. As of June the 1st, 2021, there have been 809 CBD applications since January the 1st, 2021. Out of those, 250 applications are currently undergoing administration or validation checks, and four have passed validation and are at the assessment phase. Therefore, it looks as though the number of live applications has fallen by 67 over the last month which in every likelihood means the FSA has identified issues with these applications. The UK CBD novel food expert Greer Deal commented, what has happened to the 67 out of the original 317 applications which were going through the initial checks? Have they been asked to withdraw or been voluntarily withdrawn or are they incomplete applications which will eventually appear on the pending validation list? Uncertainty creates confusion. Confusion results in fear and fear leads to inaction. The UK CBD food industry is at risk of stalling, which could be a disaster for this sector and for the UK economy. It is critical that the FSA delivers clear information on a more frequent and regular basis so that companies know the exact status of their novel food applications, can take action as appropriate and plan accordingly. Furthermore, Canna Consultants co-founder Steve Oliver also commented on the state of the FSA's disorganisation. This could seriously damage the credibility of the Food Standards Agency as the latest figures indicate more than 500 non-compliant companies, so a failed list was probably more appropriate in these circumstances. It is certainly leaving many in the industry in a state of high anxiety and vexation, although many in the industry do not wish to comment publicly on what is being described off the record as a debacle. Do you think the FSA's novel foods application process is the best way for the UK to develop its CBD industry? Let us know in the comments below. So over to Germany now, according to CannabisLaw.Report and BusinessCan.com, Canovum, a German importer, wholesaler and distributor of medical cannabis, made its debut listing on the Dusseldorf Stock Exchange just only a few years after its co-founder Pierre Martin founded the Berlin-based firm with Marius Kuss in 2019. Ms. Martin said that the reasoning behind the market flotation was for reasons of transparency and investor access, and Canovum is also listed on the Berlin and Frankfurt stock exchanges. After signing an agreement with a pesticide-free cultivator in a southern European country, Canovum is now close to launching its own branded range of cannabis flowers and extracts. Pia Martin said, Right now, you can only invest in private companies, and those shares are quite illiquid. This move on the market will give investors the opportunity to be part of it. This is just the beginning. We are the first German cannabis company fully licensed to debut on a German stock exchange. While this is significant for ourselves, it is also significant for the industry. When it comes to medical cannabis, there is still a lot of stigma around it. Here in Germany, a lot of people still see it as a drug and not a medicine. Our aim is to position ourselves as a serious pharma company. Now, staying in Germany, many will be familiar with the Rockstar Energy brand, owned by Pepsi, but many might still have been surprised to see advertising for its new product, Plus Hemp, including a 15-second slot on TV, paid media placements, and outreaches to influencers, social media, and point of sale. Launched in Germany, Rockstar's second biggest market behind the USA, the Rockstar Energy Plus Hemp will be launched in three flavors, Original, Tropical Burst, and Prickly Cactus. In addition to its hemp extract, the product also includes caffeine, guarana, and taurine. PepsiCo DAC said that 58% growth in hemp-based products in the fast-moving consumer goods sector last year, according to researcher GFK, makes hemp the trend of the year. More than 4 million households in Germany have already purchased a hemp product of some kind, the company noted. Isabel Tevez, commercial director for beverages, said 60% of the growth in the energy drink sector is driven by innovation. It is therefore clear to us that we will continue to position ourselves with strong innovations in the future. Would you consider buying a hemp-infused energy drink? Or have you even had the chance to try it for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for this week. If you think that we've missed anything, then let us know in the comments below as always. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more CBD-related content just like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.